Stuck in Vermont brought to you by Seven Days. My name is Ava Salberger. We are here in Warren at the headquarters of Warren Pieces. Floods of Irene brought together woodworkers Matt Groom and Whitney Phillips. We went down in the basement of the Pitcher Inn and didn't come out for about a year because it was it was completely destroyed. It was gutted. So we were working over at the Pitcher Inn like 85 to 90 hours a week. That is is leftover wood from Irene. Oh yeah, and it was like, man, that's some beautiful wood. What can we use it for? They started their company Warren Pieces and used recycled wood left over after Irene to put together skateboards and longboards, which are so unique that you can hang them on your wall. When you buy your piece of art, you don't have to put it in a closet. It can become a conversation piece at your dinner, dinner table. There it is. Witt has a five-year-old son, and a year ago, it was Q's birthday, and we had a bunch of cool wood around, and Witt did not have a birthday present. He decided to make a little mini skateboard for Q. So we both just started trying to make cooler and cooler boards and realized that everybody that was seeing was responding to it and it was something we should make more of. We'll never be able to mass produce and we really don't want to. We want to be small batch like wines. It'll be different vintages and different collections based on the wood that we're using in the shop at that time. It's kind of a labor of love. Mm -hmm. So we do it we do it part time and we build cabinets, we build furniture and we build houses and and we build skateboards. And we sold one board to an eight-year-old kid, sold another board to an 84-year-old woman. It looks beautiful without the grip tape. Just is not like any longboard I've ever written, ridden, which is a good thing. Is that your first time on a Warren Pieces? Yeah, it rides like nothing else. Somebody asked me that the other day. Are you, do you consider yourself an artist, an artisan, a woodworker? And I guess it's kind of a combination of, of all three of those. You see this? Our Warren Pieces iPad case that you ride to class. I'm hoping to do random acts of hanging skateboard mounts everywhere. Like, I'd like to go around Burlington and put these up everywhere. One of our uh, company philosophies is nothing comes out of here that's not really cool and unique. It feels a ton like a snowboard. So most of our stuff is recycled or stuff that was cast off, either the drop cuts from the cabinets that we make, and then a lot of it's just scrap wood people don't want, and we're turning it into art you can ride. A lot of just really cool wood. You know, most of the lumber industry is just not interested in this stuff. I could actually almost identify where every single strip in this room came from. These pieces of walnut were flooring samples that were about to be discarded. A cherry is left over from a, a kitchen that we did. The ambrosia maple is from Southern Vermont. That's all rejected mahogany from Gibson guitars. It's like gold mining. It's like the gold is free. You just have to extract it from the mountain, which is easier said than done. You can't have a preconceived notion when you go into it as to what it's going to be, and you have to be like willing to let it do what it wants to do. You don't really know what's in there until you plane it and sand it and open it up, and then it's a lot of times it's just like, oh my, that's the coolest piece of wood I've ever seen. Like, you see the grains here? Yeah. Those are going to look really cool when you get it all cleaned up. We just took that layer off, now we'll put some water on it. The coolest grain pieces we find, that's what we look to put in the center of the board and then frame around it. You design it, you gotta think of it opened up, but you're designing only half of the board and then you'll, you'll cut it and open it up. So I can do that right now. First cut. And then that's how you get symmetry. This is spalted maple here. That's actually a fungus that grows up through the maple. This is something we really actively go out and look for. I couldn't design something that looked that cool. That's the best part of these boards is seeing how nature, nature is better than anything that we can try and do to it. The valley breeds this sort of creativity, a willingness to try new things and to be stoked on it. You have to be creative and you have to work hard to make a living and make it work in Vermont. When I was a, a kid, the village was the, the center of social life in the summer. Every kid came down and was tearing around on bikes and making forts and going swimming. And 
We see that, my kids come down to the shop and I see them doing exactly what I did as a kid. Yes, Vermont's special entirely, but this valley itself has something that's very special about it. I've been all over the country, I've been a lot of different places and none of them feel like home. This feels like home. I decided that the summer outdoor excursion that I wanted to learn was skateboarding. And what better place to come than homegrown worn pieces. Yeah, so you, you pedal and you just want your feet pretty wide so your stance is stable. So just push and the key is a little bit of confidence. Just actually <laughs> rolling, rolling helps. Be ready to run. That's your escape, is running, not falling. 